Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today we're going to be customizing the Albany Franken Stange in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing was added into the game with the Halloween DLC like it is every year, so I figured that it was a good time to customize this vehicle and revisit it since last year. So to start off with the armor, we're going to go all the way up on that. The brakes, we're going to go all the way up on these as well. The engine, all the way up, obviously. For the hood, we have a few different bug catchers that we can add to the hood of this thing. I do kind of like it with the, uh, the ram pipes there, but I do think that I like the single intake bug catcher a little better, so we're going to go for that. For the interior, we can add several different ornaments onto the dashboard. Uh, these are all the typical bobbleheads that you get in places like Benny's, for example, as well as the auto shop. Um, there's nothing too, too special, but I think that we will go for one of these slasher ones. I think we're going to go for the white masked uh, Jason sort of a uh, bobblehead there. For the headlights, we are going to go Xenon on those for sure. And for the neon, I actually think that I do want to add it on this car. We're going to go front, back, and sides, and I definitely want to go red with this. I think that's going to look really cool. For the livery, we have a few different ones. We got the spider trap livery, we have the blazing death livery, we have the Hell's Furnace livery, and we have the Midnight Potion livery. I want to go for the Blazing Death livery. I think it's pretty cool, so we'll do that. For the color of the car, we can do red if we want to. I was kind of thinking of going for a red theme, but I think what I actually kind of want to do is go for like a wine red, so like a super, super dark red. I think that's going to be pretty cool for this vehicle, so we'll do that. Uh, for the secondary color, um, it does do the fenders here, so I was thinking of going for black for that, actually. And then going ahead and actually changing the pearlescent, um, instead of doing grace red, just doing uh, straight up black. Um, I think this does look pretty cool. It kind of has a weird little accent there. I kind of like it though, so I think we're going to do that. For the suspension, we are going to lower it down all the way. For the transmission, we are going to go all the way up on that. The turbo, we got to do that as well. For the wheels, um, I think think, you know, this is a vehicle that needs off-road tires. Um, I feel like off-roads are kind of ugly on this thing, but at the same time, they're not like too, too hideous. So I think I'm actually going to go for the concave rally masters on this. We're going to paint them black though, instead of the, uh, the dark copper color. So we'll do them in black. For the tires, we are going to go bulletproof, of course. For the tire smoke as well, we can actually do red on that as well. I think that's going to be pretty cool. And for the windows, we're going to tint those all the way out. Now, there is actually one more thing that I want to do to this vehicle, and we've got to go to the arena workshop for that, so I'll see you guys there in just a second. So here we are at the arena workshop. We're just going to hop inside here super, super quick, except I actually can't because it's going to remove a vehicle. Huh. Okay, well, I'm actually going to do it anyways because I don't really care that much. So we're going to bring this thing inside, and we're going to have to switch one of these vehicles over to the other garage, so we're just going to replace the gauntlet for right now because why not? We're just going to go ahead and hop into the stage here and go to modify it. And of course, you guys have probably figured out what I'm doing here. I actually want to go for some red headlights on this thing because I think they're going to look really, really cool. Uh, so we're going to go for the lights and the headlights, and of course, we've got to find red here. I think, yeah, red is looking pretty mean. Uh, it's going to cost me 53 grand to do this, but I think it's going to be worth it. It does look pretty aggressive, so I do like that. Now it's time to exit the arena altogether, and here we are outside. So it's time for me to give you guys a little sound test on this car, and then we're going to get into the actual review of the vehicle. So it's, uh, it's time to take a listen to this thing. Spoiler alert, it sounds really, really good. So as I'm sure you guys heard there, uh, it sounds pretty damn good. This is a, this is probably one of the best sounding vehicles in all of Grand Theft Auto Online, if I'm being honest. This thing sounds absolutely phenomenal. As far as the review goes, um, the Frankenstein, I remember from the last time that I drove it, it's not my favorite vehicle ever to drive, that's for sure. But of course, it is a limited edition Halloween vehicle, so you know, it, it is relatively special. Um, so, you know, I think that, you know, performance wise, it doesn't really matter how this car does. Um, it's just sort of a collectible, but I am of course going to tell you how it does performance wise, because that is my job. Um, the Frankenstein, I would say that this thing does have 
pretty decent acceleration it's definitely not bad uh, off the line it's absolutely terrible um the the thing just does not grip up like at all whatsoever it takes a uh, takes pretty much all the first gear to actually gain traction which is kind of annoying but it's not the end of the world and then once you get into second gear and you actually gain some traction this thing does accelerate pretty hard i would say um definitely there's you know better accelerating cars out there anything that's electric accelerates faster than this thing and you know cars like the pegasi zentorno uh, definitely accelerate a lot harder than the frankenstein that's for sure then we have the handling now the handling is actually a lot better than it was last time and i think a large part of that is due to me putting off-road tires on this thing um it's still not good but i think that the off-road tires have significantly improved uh this thing's ability to actually go around corners which is you know that is a good thing uh we do tend to appreciate going around corners in grand theft auto online i typically find uh so if you do get one of these i would heavily advise you to put off-roads on it because they get a little bit better grip uh than most of the other tires in the game this is kind of a proven fact you guys might be skeptical but it is kind of true uh they're not much better but they're a tiny bit better so um if you put off-roads on this thing it's not the uh, it's not the worst vehicle ever handling wise um it definitely does oversteer though it definitely oversteers um if you if you corner a little too hard um the back end of this thing is just gonna go out so you know it's it's not the end of the world uh, there's a lot of cars in gta that oversteer um this is obviously just one of them and um it's something that you're just gonna have to get used to with the Frankenstein, unfortunately. Uh, it's not the end of the world, though. Now, top speed-wise, the Frankenstein is not that great. Uh, it has a, you know, relatively average top speed. Uh, so, you know, it's nothing to write home about. Um, generally, in performance-wise, this thing is just not the best vehicle. But like I said um, at the start of the review, this is not why you buy this car. You don't buy it because it's a great performing vehicle. You buy it because it's a Halloween collectible. It comes around once a year. Um, and for that reason, I would say that it is worth owning. Um, obviously you can only buy this for the month of October after that it pretty much goes off the websites for you know a whole year um, this might even be the last time that you're actually able to get the Frankenstage in Grand Theft Auto Online who knows what they're gonna do next year for Halloween I would assume there's gonna be um, you know Halloween updates and stuff like that but um, there is always the chance that they might not do that so if you want to own a Frankenstage now is the time to buy one um, it is a relatively good vehicle. It goes for, I think, $650. Um, so it is a little on the expensive side, especially for the performance. But like I said, it's a collectible. So um, it's going to be something that you're probably going to want to own. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the Frankenstein customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online. Definitely pick this thing up if you guys have some extra garage space and some extra money laying around. It is a cool collectible to have. But if you don't really care about collectibles and stuff like that, you can probably skip this thing. It's uh, it's just not that great. And performance-wise, it's uh, subpar, I would say. So that's pretty much it for the customization and review. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is, of course, appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.